Isn't this a lush lawn? Absolutely beautiful, and it just doesn't come naturally. It's my mom and dad's lawn in Riga, and they're part of my quarantine. And it takes four good treatments a year to make sure you're really going to get a strong root system in your grass. So the first thing you want to do is in the early spring, get out with a spreader like that and add something that you call a weed and feed. It'll help kill some of that crabgrass that's in the lawn and also give that the turf its first jump of some fertilizer to get it going and get it lush and green like this in the early spring. The next time you'll fertilize your yard will be in late June. You want to get it fed before it goes dormant in July and August when it's really hot. And in those hot months, your lawn might turn a little bit brown, but that's okay. It didn't die. It's just saving its energy for when it gets to the fall and it can green up again. And that's also a good thing because you don't have to mow as much in July and August. But once you get past August and into September and your temperatures start to cool again, you'll want to put on another treatment of another fertilizer in the late fall. One more time before we put the lawn to bed for winter, I want you to get out with your spreader one more time right after your Thanksgiving dinner to give it its weed and feed for the winter months. What about those weeds? Well, you have to hit the weeds with sometimes a chemical like a herbicide, and you might need to just spray them one at a time. But luckily in this yard, we don't have a lot of dandelion problem. That's because we've had a treatment early in the season, but you can use something just like that. Good job, Dad. <laughs> and another good way to get rid of your weeds, if you don't like putting chemicals on your yard, I call it mechanicide. That means you just get your trowel out and you have to start digging. Get out there and get growing. <laughs>